Hi, I'm Lori Drillen. And I am married to Chris. Hi. <laughs> and uh, almost 20 years. We have four children. Allison. Hi. Garrett. I'm Garrett. Kira. And Derek. And we like camping in the summer. And my personal hobbies are um, baking and cooking and eating. So I grew up in a very uh, loving Christian home. Um, and we were very involved in the church. It was an Episcopal church, which meant that I was an acolyte and drinking wine at the age of 10. Um, and we were, we were there Sundays, Sunday nights, Wednesday nights, Monday nights. My parents were very involved um, in marriage encounter and all those things. Um, there wasn't a lot of focus on the relationship with Jesus, um, but my parents lived that lifestyle out loud for sure. Um, fast forward to my teenage and um, 20s. Um, I was pretty wild. I'm sure you're surprised. And I remember my parents dropping me off at college and I was just bursting with excitement because I was going to be free. Um, and they were both crying. And so um, I did. I had a great time in college. I spent all of their money and um, I had a lot of fun. Um, but I really, that's when I really started walking away from the Lord and um, in my 20s. Um, didn't really ever go back to church or um, things like that. Um, I met my husband when I wasn't walking with the Lord, which is a great story for another day, how I met him. And he stalked me. No, I'm kidding. Um, we could cut that out. <laughs> Sorry, Lori, I had to leave it in. Fast forward about three years into our marriage, things were pretty tough. Garrett had just come out of the NICU. Um, he was very sick as a baby. And um, I just remember feeling really alone. And um, I had a friend invite me to Mops. And I thought, you have got to be kidding me. You are inviting me to a cleaning group. Like, you, I, you can already tell I'm a mess. And so um, it actually stands for Mothers of Preschoolers. And I just remember going there and just feeling like, wow, I'm not really alone in this mothering thing. And um, feeling just loved right where I was. And I eventually loved it so much. I uh, rekindled my relationship with Jesus. I really, I feel like that's when it really set in stone for me and my kids. Um, we started going to church there. This was in Belfair. Um, and then I, they wanted me to be on the leadership team. Um, and so I was the leader of the MOPS group and doing the same thing for young moms that would come in hopeless and just loving on them and serving the Lord that way. And I just really feel passionate about that. And then about eight years ago, we moved here to Gig Harbor. We tried a couple of churches, but really never felt at home until we came to this church. And so we've been coming here for four years five years but we love it my kids love it and um that's how we ended up here uh, about a year ago i was uh not thrilled with my position and so i saw a position at the middle school where jamie works and i inquired about it with her and prayed about it and she prayed about it and uh, it turns out i've been there for a year now i'm a health technician at harbor ridge and um i just see the kindness of the lord and the love um, and care for the students who might just be coming in for a band-aid or an ice pack but a lot of times they just need a lot of love and encouragement and so I'm there to give that to them and I really feel like I'm blessing the kids and um, love being there for them um, and then I got COVID over Christmas and um, it was really bad um, but my symptoms continued into the new year this year and didn't ever go away and they were very concerning um, symptoms and I just started my new job that I loved and so um, after multiple doctor's visits and hospital visits and tons of money um, an MRI showed that I had a small thank the Lord for that stroke um, and so I've kind of been dealing with that and the fear that comes with that knowing if like I'm, I don't look like I've had one but the Lori has some dead brain tissue <laughs> um, part is true so um, but just trusting the Lord that you know um, every time I have a headache or feel a little bit dizzy that, you know, I'm, I'm okay. Um, and then in um, June, we moved my parents down um, closer to be all of us kids because we're a very close family. Um, and that is exciting. Um, we got them into a really nice place in Puyallup with a pool and we had all kinds of plans for the summer. Um, and three weeks after they moved, my mom went to take a nap and she didn't wake up. And so, it was very unexpected. 
But immediately we just felt very surrounded by this church family and love and prayers and texts and food. Oh my goodness, I've gained 25 pounds. Thank you for that. Fortunately, um, it's been really hard watching my dad suffer and my brothers who are more inward than outward. I've been really, really angry at God and I, I feel bad about that. I, I don't understand why. And so, um, my dad has been attending this group called Grief Share. That's a Christian based program for people who are grieving. And, um, he had invited me to go with him <laughs> and I had promised my mom, um, that I would be there for him and take care of him. And so I thought, well, I guess I'll go, but I wasn't really that interested if I'm being honest. And so I went and I remember leaving there, um, not really feeling any different myself um, because I was still so angry and numb. And my dad kind of had this pep in his step and he's like, wasn't that great, honey? And I just thought, oh my gosh, no, none of this, there's nothing great about any of this. And he just said, man, I just love how God-centered and hope-filled these messages are. And um, I thought, wow, he's getting so much from this. Um, and the Lord is, you know, really taking care of him. And so I I went home that night and, um, and I just remember crying out to the Lord, just, if you're good, I need you to show me right now, even though I know it's true. I don't know, this was in September, so it was a couple weeks after that. I started having this whooshing in my right ear to the sound of my heartbeat. And if you Google it, which I do not recommend Googling any symptoms, um, you should seek emergency medical care um, because it could be a brain aneurysm or another stroke or things like that. And so I'm panicked. And I went in to Indigo Urgent Care in Gig Harbor and I had the most compassionate and loving doctor. Um, and you know, it's just random who you get when you go to urgent care, but I really don't know that it was that day. And um, my husband was with me, which was really great because she talked to me and got my health history, left the room. When she came back, I thought for sure she was gonna send us to the emergency room for a CT because of my health history. Um, but she just said, you know, um, I think this is because you're, you're so stressed out and you have so much grief and um and i just like to give my patients some um coping mechanisms and ways to um deal with this this is significant she she recognized that what i was feeling was was normal not the whooshing in my ear but just the heartbreak and it's not going to go away um but she said and um if people have faith um i i tell them to pray and i was like what did she just say? I'm like, what? I'm at the doctor's office. And so um, I said, yes, I do. And she said, oh, do you believe in Jesus? And I said, yes. And she said, well, if it's all right with you, I would like to pray with you right now. And I just knew that was like my, here is your sign, you big dummy, um, that he's still good. And it still hurts, but he's looking out for us and we can trust him. So it was pretty awesome. So 